Ralph is back in Mexico. Now, you may remember that on the last episode of Mad at the Internet, there was a hinting pose from uh, Ethan Ralph that he might visit a certain somebody's anime way and finally conduct the battle for Jim's driveway. Surprise, that did not happen. Ralph specifically posted a picture of Jim's anime anime dungeon and said, there's one more stop for me to make. He didn't go. <laughs> he, he just left. He tucked his little curly corkscrew pigtail between his ass cheeks and he fled the fucking country again. Back to Mexico, safe and sound, where no rooftop Vietnamese woman can open his fucking skull with a 556. Safe and sound. Um. Okay, so this is just him thirsting. This woman is uh, Fred Blasey, and she's apparently like a hoe. She's like a conserva hoe. She's like, oh, I'm. I think women are retards, and I have tits. And, she, and I agree with you. Isn't that great? Give me money. Uh, Fred says, if you are a boy and you want to come to my B-Day party and you are an in an account, can you at least send me a picture of yourself and explain to me how I can trust that you won't kill me? Ethan Ralph says, it's t- two hours to L.A. and like 25 mocks to Tijuana. Still thinking on it, LOL. I was thinking of turning around and going to this hose, hose party in L.A. Um, he sends two different, three different messages to her, uh, such as, I will be in Southern California for my birthday weekend, the 20th to 22nd, to see my, my son Xander and some others. Hit me up if you want to book anything or just hang. So I think that's before her. Oh yeah, this is old. Um, and then another message. Uh, don't let the door hit you on the way out. And that's in response to Tandy saying, how to unfollow the breasty gal. That's literally all she's offered. So, uh, Tandy said, I'm unfollowing this person because she's like a thought. And she's like, don't, how rude. Some simps, simps to arms. I need defense. Then Ralph says, it's a pretty big offering though. To be fair, may even call it an offer. You can't refuse. Please whammon, uh, have sex with me. I'm so desperate. And alone in Mexico. He also simped for Kayla, the crack hoe, uh, currently married to Nick Ricada, saying, Kayla looked amazing. Me, any time since 2020, she's looked the best. The false narrative, this isn't the only to bang things sprigly shift. Kamala and form a big fall, I'm out. Uh, very articulately defending Kayla's honor. Um, it is true that there's uh, uh, things are respringly, respringly shift. Um, I don't know if it's a false ne'er tova though, and it's true that Kamala and Forna Big Fall. So, uh, I mean, he makes some points, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's the original? If I don't care if I get red, Kayla has a tight body and nice tits. Ew. Would smash in the next week. And then Ralph's like, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) This one, I think, was a much more lucid message, but only barely. Ralph says, strip clubs are a waste of time. He went to a strip club and recorded the horrors and posted that to Twitter. And then he posted this. Uh, see tittles and pussy and home, but the siren call hits me sometimes. Had some time to kill. It was mostly good, but they always readily Ellie to subsell up. I'm OPY getting uploaded if, if get what I want. So while we had a conversation, it's asinine. Lots of dauble on SIG and everything else. He grants by a cigarette and trying to grab my bagger. Would javelin be impossible but life in the end? Oh, and they were aware of the supposed slub web. Something one or things. To buy were working trying to swigger through gug my umber window lamau. I lied. This is not a much more coherent post. 
<laughs> I think I nailed it though. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I'm not Ethan Ralph. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Uh, Richard Hanania says, RFK kept a diary in 2001 where he recorded cheating on his wife with 37, di 37 different women. His wife, Mary Richardson Kennedy, assuming he meant, he says Kenny, but I think I mean Kennedy, was pregnant that year. They had four kids together. She eventually found the diary. In 2010, RFK filed for divorce. In his affidavit, Mary was portrayed as an alcoholic who abused her husband and was a danger to the kids. The document was supposed to be sealed, but it somehow made its way to the press. According to Mary's attorney, Kennedy took custody of the kids as a way to force her to agree to a divorce. Unable to make in, take any more pain or humiliation, on May 16, 2012, Mary Richardson Kennedy hanged herself. A friend commented, depression and drinking didn't kill Mary, it was having her kids taken away. Robert Kennedy gave a eulogy at her funeral, where he claimed that in their last telephone conversation the day before she died, Mary told him everything was her fault. Great guy. Ralph, of course, has a follow-up thought to this wonderful... Um, story of horrific abuse and torture <laughs> saying real men naturally want to cheat during their wife's pregnancy are we ready <laughs> to have this conversation that's his takeaway i mean shit if fucking rfk was having 37 bitches while his wife was pregnant that fucking horse got all antsy for me having just once how are you going to do me like that, man? You told me. You told me I could do it. And then you got angry anyways when RFK had 37 side hoes. And she done killed herself. So you got it good as far as I'm concerned, man. Actually, here's a follow-up message. This is uh, actual writing. Pregnant pussy is the best, though. And they are super freaks. But still, something calls at the inner soul of a man to go out and fuck another chick too even if the woman tells you she's cool with it by the way don't fall for it it's self-harm for her be discreet <laughs> he fell for may's may's clever traps she said go f go off ralph and spread your wild oats and he's like thank you my, thank you my horse i will and then he goes on and he fucks a mexican prostitute and she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, no. She told me that I can go fuck anyone I want. And then I did. And while I was out fucking everyone I wanted, she left. It was a trick. It was a clever ruse by that horse. God damn it. I never saw it come. Never trust no bish, he says. Um, and then, of course, he somehow crashes fucking car again. He says... Okay, so I actually got in a wreck at the CDMX and lost my phone. All good, the big show for tomorrow, but today is in doubt because I'm replacing my phone again. Already got the SIM and same number. He claims that it was an Uber that crashed uh, and not his own car, so I don't know if that's true, but it seems like terror and, and uh, misadventure awaits him regardless of where he's going. Sucks to suck. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!